Hello everyone, this is Liz Truckman and welcome to my medical terminology presentation on the topic of ring chromosomes. In this presentation I will go over the what's and how's of ring chromosomes and several of the syndromes that they might cause. So what exactly are ring chromosomes? To answer that question, let me first define chromosomes. A chromosome is a container for the building blocks of all organic matter in every living or plant cell. Within the cell nucleus, there are many chromosomes and they all contain the genetic code in the form of protein molecules we call DNA. We humans would normally have 23 pairs of chromosomes, meaning a total of 46 chromosomes. We receive 23 from each of our parents. Those chromosomes are what determine who we are and how we would look. Ring chromosomes are a phenomenon which occurs naturally when the chromosome arms stick together. This usually is a result of the loss of the chromosome telomeres, the end of the chromosomes, thus leaving the chromosome arms open, which enables them to fuse together. Sometimes even the loss of one telomere alone is enough for this to happen. In very rare cases, the telomeres themselves band together, which means that there is no loss of information to the DNA strand. Ring chromosomes are found in every human on the planet. They occur as a result of mutation on a cellular level, as a byproduct of exposure to radiation, pollutants, pathogens, and so forth. Since this phenomenon means that the chromosomes are liable to lose genetic information, do ring chromosomes have any implications on our health? For the most part, and despite the loss of DNA material, the answer is no. However, if ring chromosomes occur in the germline, meaning in the sperm or egg, which are the cells that are used for reproduction, those ring chromosomes might manifest themselves in the offspring as numerous genetic disorders, diseases, and abnormalities, depending on the specific chromosome or chromosomes they affect, and the genetic material which is lost. Since every one of our 23 couples of chromosomes, numbers 1 to 22, and the XY chromosome contain different genetic code, these conditions caused by the ring chromosomes are directly correlated to the chromosome they affect. Here are several examples of genetic disorders associated with ring chromosomes. Ring 1, facial dysmorphism, growth and intellectual developmental disorder. Ring 2, short stature, microcephaly, mild intellectual developmental disorder. Ring 13, non-syndromic autism, genital anomalies, growth developmental disorder. Ring 14, distinct facial features, developmental delay, intellectual developmental disorder, microcephaly, scoliosis, and ocular anomalies such as abnormal retinal pigment Fermentation, strabismus, glaucoma, and abnormal macula. Also, drug resistant epilepsy. Ring 18, intellectual developmental disorder, hypotonia, microcephaly, short stature, minor facial features, and abnormal male genitalia. Ring 20, refractory epilepsy syndrome, cognitive impairment and absence of a consistent pattern of dysmorphology. Ring 21, short stature, microcephaly, seizures, learning disabilities, heart defects, cleft lip and palate, and thrombocytopenia. In rare cases, a person might have a combination of several ring chromosomes, or even double ring chromosomes, or an XY ring chromosome, which are the sex chromosomes. But usually in cases where a fetus carries this much genetic anomalies, will result in a miscarriage or stillbirth. How common are ring chromosome disorders? Between the 23 ring chromosome conditions and the double ring disorder, quite rare. Some of them are as rare as one in every 40 million people, and others are more common as one out of 5,000. For the most part, affliction has been observed to be equal among the genders. And what are the treatment options? Like with any disease, early detection can assure that a child that has any of these disorders can get treatment which will help them and their families better cope with the challenges they will face in life. Although no remedy or cure to the disease exists, in many cases corrective surgical procedures performed may help relieve the child of physical dysmorphism, discomfort, or help correct facial deformities. 
In other cases, a more intrusive procedure might be required for purpose of preserving the life of a newborn with complications. This was my presentation on ring chromosomes. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Feel free to look through the attached bibliography.